everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming with Heidi Scott. And um, I've had a lot of questions recently about my secret sauce formula. What is it? How do you do it? Um, we've had quite a few new makers join our team at a maker studio and they're wondering what in the world is the secret sauce? Uh, so today I thought I would show you that. And before I start doing that, I wanna show you what secret sauce can look like. So it depends on which stain you choose, but for this is a good example. If you can see how the, the wood here underneath the stencil has sort of a vintagey look, um, like, like it's old and distressed, sort of it has a farmhouse feel, and this is just wood from the hardware store. This is a side that does not have secret sauce, and you can see how it doesn't have the same charm at all. So what I'm gonna be showing you today is how to create this effect that is underneath this stencil. This, by the way, is our black stain, our black gel stain. This is our gray gel stain, and this is our hazel mahogany gel stain, and that's what I'm gonna be using today. Okay, so step one of secret sauce is to take a hammer, a screwdriver, uh, paint scraper, what, whatever you have handy, and you're just going to beat, beat up your wood. So this was just a, uh, I think it was a 2 by 4 or 2 by 6 that I had cut up at Home Depot, and then I sanded the edges so that they're smooth and you don't get a, sl a sliver just touching this piece of wood, and then I beat it up as step one. So then the next step is where you apply some of your paint. And I'm using our Rescue Restored Blessed today. And the purpose of the paint is that you're gonna put it on in real sort of streaky kind of motion. And um, it will prevent the stain that we're gonna put on next from absorbing into the wood evenly. So that is what gives um, secret sauce, some of its charm, and makes your wood look much more interesting. So, I want to show you um, what it looks like when it's finished on one side, and then I'll actually show you the motion. And it's kind of hard to tell in this light. There we go. That's a good angle. Okay, so you can see that it, I didn't put a solid coverage on, that I did it in sort of streaky motions. I didn't necessarily go always with the grain of the wood. And um, so let me show you what that actually looks like. So I'm just gonna take my um, chip brush and you want your brush to, to not be a great brush for this because you want it to have, um, I don't know, some streaky, stripey thing. So um, here's the side that I haven't done yet, and I'm basically just going to put my um, brush in my paint and then offload a little bit, and then I'm just gonna do some random motions. Can you see what I'm doing? I know the light's not great. Um, sometimes I'll do a little like jab or stab and drag and, uh, and then I might put a little extra around the edge. So you can kind of, let's see. There, so you can kind of see what I just did. And this was the other side that I did. Okay, um, you're gonna let that dry for a few minutes for, you're putting the paint on very thin. So you're probably gonna let it dry about 10 minutes. Well, I already did this other side, so I, I'm good to move right on to the next step. Okay, and the next step is the gel stain. And this is our hazel mahogany gel stain. Um, it creates the most beautiful brown farmhouse kind of look on a piece of wood. Uh, and the thing I like about this is that you can really change the way it looks just by diluting it with some water. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a board that I made using secret sauce. Um, so you can see it underneath the stencil. And um, I did not dilute my gel stain when I did this one. This one is another little tray that I made using the hazel mahogany gel stain. And in this instance, I did dilute it. So can you see 
how much different the um, the pieces look. Okay. Well, so for oh, and by the way, look at the difference between this with the secret sauce and that. This looks like it came from the hardware store. This looks like it's farmhouse, like it's vintage, like it's old wood that's, I don't know, come off of a barn or been repurposed from a perfume factory floor or who knows what. So, um, so that's the difference in the hazel mahogany gel stain and how it can look depending on whether you've watered it down or not. So this is what the container looks like and I'm a really messy crafter so if you're neat, you can keep your little container nice and tidy, but I'm not. And I don't really see any reason why you necessarily have to. So I'm going to dip my brush in just a teeny bit of water and then dip it in my gel stain. Oh no, I got out here without my glasses. Darn, okay, well I'll have to do the rest of this project without being able to see very well. So I'm just going to Apply my gel stain. Might get just a tad bit of water because that helps it absorb better. And you can see that I'm not um, I'm not putting it on neat. By the way, I did also do the secret sauce on the sides and the ends. But for today, I'm just gonna show you on this one side. So I've applied my gel stain, and now I'm just gonna take some paper towels, and I'm basically gonna take off the excess. And you'll see right away where it absorbed differently. This is what it looks like after you've applied your gel stain. One tip is if you still want it to be a little bit lighter or you feel like it's too dark in any one place, you can just take a paper towel and dip it in some water and then you can just rub it over the whole piece and it will continue lifting up more of the stain and you can achieve a slightly lighter finish. When, um, when I'm picking out a piece of wood to do secret sauce on, I'm looking for a piece of wood that has these places on it where the, um, the saw that was used to plane it or whatever probably needed to be changed since it was sort of creating that motion there. I'm looking for knots and just um, other irregularities. So I don't want lumber that is perfect. Okay. So then the next step would really be much better if this was more dry, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Just wipe it off a little bit more. Okay, good enough. The next step is to take whatever stencil you wanna use, and I'm gonna be using Let It Snow. And I'm going to be using that same blast colored rescue restore paint that I used on the um, to make the secret sauce to do the stencil. Decide which side I want to have up, and I'm going to just apply my stencil. I'm going to get my little um, foam dome stamper, and I'm going to dip it in my paint. And I'm going to say, "Darn! I wish I had more paint on my plate." I might have to get up and go in the other room and get it. I think I am. Hang on. Every, 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 every time I do something in a video or on live, I either have some major technical mess up or I forget something. Or I can't find my glasses. I don't know what's going on with me. Anyway, so this is my blessed Rescue Restore paint. I like to store it in these little bottles because, like I said, I'm messy. And it was driving me crazy to have my little tubs of paint. I always have the lids uh, glued shut because I didn't clean them off good enough. 
So anyways, you can order those on Amazon. And if you're interested in doing that, just let me know <clears throat> and I will send you the link. Okay, so this is what that stencil looks like right now. I'm gonna just pull it off. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. And this stencil set has the most darling um, little snowflakes. So I'm just dipping my stencil in some water right away so that it doesn't get clogged up for future uses. This is what it looks like so far. Then I will be using the little snowflakes and I will share a picture of the completed project. But anyways, I really hope that, whoops, that this um, explains what secret sauce is. And um, that's just a term I came up with just completely by accident uh, when I was um, doing a Facebook Live or in front of a group of friends, I don't even remember. But then people started talking about my secret sauce and uh, so it's sort of found a name for itself but um, anyways I hope this gives you an idea you can completely change the look by using a different color paint like using the um, biscuits and gravy which is this nice creamy ivory or by using the um, Paris flea market which is another great sort of off-white color or by choosing a different gel stain like the Windsor gray or the Kensington black or the antique pine or this one the hazel mahogany gel stain so if I can help you with anything, just let me know. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.